next poem is called Submerged. Rushed breath shatters the silence. His sparkling eyes bring back any signs of doubt. Edges waver and appear, startling and definite, as worn feet crush the wood. In his mind, he can hear wailing echoes of pain. His heart is whispering, get away, get away. Panic boils in his chest. It screams and brings dizzy dots to his vision. Am I still breathing? He thinks. He quiet streaks and bounds toward the edge. For purpose, he jumps. For a moment, he is alive. Wind tearing at his hair, scattered freely. His tired eyes close, his nose wrinkled with laughter. The sapphire sea engulfs him inside. His lips burn with salt as he surges into the waves. Here, he is protected by the sound of the water. Whirls and currents sing soft well by. He felt water gently, flows choking like waves, beckoning to his skin. He lifts himself from the world, from the chill, only to resurface to a world of war, a world of fear and violence and confusion. The only thing he wants to do is duck back under, where he is safe and secure, past the unforgiving breakers, where hate is sought for blissful ignorance. Squinching at the blinding sun, he sees recognizable faces of friends. Their expressions are sparks of life. Why can't life always be like this, he thinks. Whole and well. His light is star leaping softly in the summer sky.